of 426 and what they done, they rolled it into House Bill 838. We voted on House Bill 838 first. Uh, with all of that bad language, it was just kind of like bloosh. You know, we didn't, we knew it that morning when we got there, that 838, they had taken the language out of 426. See, what that was done to show us, we're going to give you your hate crimes bill, but we're going to still come back and we're going to get our police bill. You know, just to show us, this is what we're going to do, because we got the power to do that. But, you know, uh, we are glad that HB 426 uh, uh, passed. And I don't want to take anything away from that. But that House eight, Bill 838, that is a bad bill. And to me, it, it really kind of dampened the spirit of 426 because that bill is so egregious and it just, it's just nothing good about it. Um, you know, you can't say anything to a police officer or he could sue you. Uh, you really don't have no rights as a, as a citizen going down the street if the police stop you and you say something to him and he feel like his feelings were hurt because you cursed at him, you know, you could go to jail for one to five years. That's a bad bill. So therefore the cops are not held accountable for their action. So like I say, they they just wanted to make a statement, we gonna give you 426, but we still got 838 to show you that we gonna do what we wanna do because we we're the we're the house, we are the house, we in charge. Not you all, we are. But I will say to the people of Georgia that it's time that we get out and vote. And we can't just vote around here in Metro Atlanta. We got to go all the way down in rural Georgia and bring those people out, the, out their houses and get them to the polls so that they can vote. So we can send these people home and we could come back and make a difference. Because this summer, we will be working on the right to repeal all these bad, bills to drop legislation to repeal every one of them and you could believe that because they're unnecessary and they're bad for our people and we are sick and tired of being sick and tired because no justice no peace and we got to continue to fight i want you all to continue to march continue to fight get on your phones you all know how to do all this fancy stuff with these phones and connect with people down in rural Georgia, North Georgia, the East, the South, all over Georgia, and let these young people know that it's time that we get up and make a stand. We must vote, and we must make sure that our vote is counted because they playing games with that too. And we got to put a stop to it. The only way we can stop it is at the ballot box. And then elect people that's not afraid to stand and fight for the rights of all people. You know, we're not asking for anything out of the ordinary. All we're asking for is to be treated like people, like human beings. You know, we're not asking for nobody to give us anything because we have always worked. You know, the reason they have what we, what they have is because of us. If we didn't go on their jobs and work, then what would they have? But they don't care. They don't care. They don't give a damn about us. So we should be at the point where it could go both ways. But because of the way we were brought up and because of our mamas and grandmamas teaching, our heart would say no. So, you know, we live, where we want to treat everybody right. We want to do right by all people. We don't have no respect to class. By all peoples, we should be happy to do right by. But they don't. They don't have that type of heart. They don't have the heart that we have as Democrats. And like I said, that might be been one of our problems for a long time. Because we're willing to compromise. We're willing to, to settle. In which they're not going to settle for anything. They will, they will put us in the ground and walk all over us. Because they do not care. They don't give a damn about us. But we do care and we care about all people. That's why we want to do what is right and what is just by the, by the Lord. And that's how we live. We try to live and do things in decency and in order because that is what we were taught by our parents and grandparents, to love one another and to treat each other with respect. And that's what we do.